Occupying a position of privilege does not exempt the occupant from identifying with the sufferings of the everyday man. In fact, quite the opposite, which brings us to Kwe Kwe VIP. In times of upheaval, it is comforting for a people if their elected leaders display empathy and compassion. One remembers vividly that former President Goodluck Jonathan failed miserably in this regard. But Major General Buhari has so far achieved the unexpected. He is much worse. Indeed, our current president regularly acts as though he has no idea of the various disasters that hit Nigeria, hardly flinching a muscle after brutal terrorist attacks. Remember that he flew back into the country for other festive social activities in Borno after a recent sad occurrence in that region. He ignored the disaster and went partying. Yes, that's your man. After the meeting of progressive governors in Abuja a few days ago, Lagos governor Son Wolu sought audience with the president and proceeded to lay out photos on a table that showed the extensive carnage caused by a gas explosion in Abuleado in Lagos. The president looked on as though he were being shown boring documents while Son Wolu struggled to engage and impress him. All done, Son Wolu packed up his photos with Mr. President not lifting a finger to help gather the photos that were spread wide on the large table. I kid you not, the governor looked no more dignified than a mere servant before an imperial master. Even then, the governor himself, on a visit to the smoky site of the explosion, spoke into a sound system, making a speech and promising 250 million naira as part of a 2 billion naira relief fund for the victims. He did not visit any survivors. He merely performed a perfunctory visit with an unnecessarily large retinue of hangar-on staff. That's not good enough, Sonwolu. You've got to be more involved, physically or otherwise. We want to see 360 degree thinking from you and your government. We need to see quick action on the investigation into the gas blast too. We need to recapture our old traditional values of care, compassion and brotherliness. We need to dress down and get stuck in work. Elected servants need to discard the misplaced mindset of self-importance. Every servant from the president down to the councillor. We must reconsider the ostentatious manner in which we conduct state affairs and reconnect with the common man. As time takes, we now find ourselves in a position where we have to learn from our neighbors, such as Ghana, who hitherto we felt a sense of superiority over. Yeah. yeah um, quickly, mm -hmm. to also correct an impression, I think um, the deputy governor visited the victims. Deputy governor and the governor went to the site. And thereafter, the deputy governor visited the victim. He on delegated. Behalf. Yes, he delegated deputy governor to visit the victim. But that's not to say yeah. that, um, mm -hmm. you know, the way our VIPs carry on when these things happen, you know, you come, you make bogus statements, make promises which are hardly kept, mm -hmm. and then the president will never address the nation mm -hmm. on such issues. He won't visit the site. Rather, he will send uh, the vice president, if at all, and, and then we all carry on as though nothing happened. Then you hear us argue about PDP, APC, as if the disaster is a PDP, APC yeah. thing. These are human beings that have lost their life. The least you can do for them is at least give them hope and consolation. We saw how Oshibanjo was able to calm free nerves in Nigeria when Buhari traveled by simply walking on the street of Yenagua, mm. marching on the street of Uweri. And people felt that sense connection, of, yeah. you know, connection. Oh, this is, you know, those people up there relating with us. Yes. But if you sit down up there and expect that people will naturally like you for, you know, it, I think this is not time for, mm. for fantastic speech. Mm. This is time truly, like you said, to roll up the sleeves mm. and be humane in our actions. And, and I mean, and why, why I'm do. liking a lot of what I'm seeing recently, for me, it's good news that people are querying these kind of issues. You know, because mm. when you were talking, what came to my mind is Omenana. You know, some of my parents' generation, they have a kind of code of conduct. Mm. Even if my dad is collapsing or his generation, there's certain things they must do. If you call them, they will show up. You know, they may not physically be up to it, but because it's the done thing and it's a certain code of behavior that communicates a certain care, they will tick that box. And I think it's necessary. I never used to understand it. I'm like, you just come in. The person should surely understand. Me, I won't go and do all this. You know, but yeah. I, now I realize that it has its value because the person cannot say you did not 
show up on the yeah. day. So yes, like you said, even when he, well, the reports I heard was that even when um, someone Lu showed up, he was you know, telling them, he wasn't mm -hmm. listening. He, they were there before him, the victim. So mm -hmm. he could have engaged, he could mm -hmm. have, rather than come and just say what he said, he could Take have off. stopped mm -hmm. to have a time with them there, he did, even if he didn't go specifically to visit. So, and when I look at it, I know it's de deterring, slight, deterring slightly. The issue with the, um, the Actors Guild and how they're holding the president's accountable. I don't know if you f followed that yeah. story. It sort of broke, broke on our premises. Because there's a way he was expressing himself that seemed a bit too dictatorial. You, you, you're a servant. Let's not get carried away. You're mm -hmm. a president, but you're a servant president. Mm -hmm. So if you come and say, you, you can't, mm -hmm. don't do this, come through this channel. And yet your body language is sending out the signal that even if they came to you behind the scenes, you're not even open to hearing their mm -hmm. point of view. Mm -hmm. Then you forget that you're not there as an emperor. You're there as a servant. And yeah. we must learn correct leadership, yeah. service uh, oriented yeah, leadership or yeah. else where are I, we going I find that this is this this problem is predates this administration absolutely yeah um, this is not a this is not a, a Buhari, Buhari problem. administration no, problem. problem no this is a problem that goes all the way back to uh, 1914 really yeah 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 it goes all the way back to videos that to to, to the then. colonial system yeah. to the system of GRA government is mm. where you know mm. the colonial people lived and then we had to go, and then the you know the British left us and gave us politicians and, and yeah, elites retain who retained Jerry. that same thinking yeah. that they were separate from us, from the army, thinking that they're conquerors of the civilians. It's a problem. So anyone who gets into a, a position of authority begins to think, Lord, it's okay. I am now oh, different from you from people. You. Mm -hmm. And we talked about this many episodes ago. Mm -hmm. About even how we dress, mm. you see the man now. When I mean, I, same one time, I spoke about yeah. It, yeah. one time I, I don't really I, mind I was made, First time I was made uh, a director general of a <laughs> government agency. My friends got us. Ah, Mecca, you have to change you. You can't be dressing. You can't be dressing yeah. like like yeah, a common man. Like, you, you. you know, you have to. You know, and unsolicited, some went. Like, bought me suits and went to tailors <laughs> and made me big statue me. Probably put yeah. your, so, your initials on it. Yeah, yeah. well. That's the standard one. <laughs> so you find it. Now, you know, we, we have this distancing. You know, we're talking about social distancing. So there's always that, that distance between the elected or the, the public servants who are supposed to serve us and us, the public. I don't want to labor you know, too we, much on the dressing. Because yeah. Liberals could dress like this, but it doesn't stop him being a man yeah, of the people. Yeah, but you see, the thing yeah, is, well, you know, it, it affects to some extent. And, and even the people who work around you, your drivers, mm, the security men, you. The, you know, the, they become in awe of you. Even your, and then there's people who work for you, especially the security, now treat the people, yes. as if they're mm -hmm. enemies. Yes. They should be distant. Mm -hmm. yeah. They because, should come um, close. I saw yeah. the Malu whip one yes. of these guys had oh, yes. when they were going through with sirens. I said, you want to do that to whip human people. beings? Mm -hmm. So it goes all the way back to yes. how, you know, we as a people a would construct a conditioning. Mm -hmm. I just feel that, look, there should be more empathy. Mm -hmm. Yes, this current administration has made it a little bit worse because of the personality of the, of, the, of, the, of, yes. of the president. Yes. It's always been a very aloof yes. person. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I think that even the people around him, even the governors, um, should not follow that. They should no. be distinct. Yeah. I mean, someone who has showed us, and the governor in your state, Mark India, has yeah. also yes. done very well in coming closer to people. No, but I he think said he was running a campaign at a time when he shouldn't be doing yeah. Mark well, well, So he's not, he's not no, getting it all right. No, no, no. But I, I, no, but he shouldn't be doing crowds of people. No, that was yesterday. Mm. I mean, that was everybody. Mm. So you can get it wrong. Make, make yeah. a mistake yeah. once in a while. I want but to call I think that someone who has shown by his what he's done in the past that he can be he can be an yeah, on the ground uh, person, yeah. ground person. Uh, and i think he should not lose he's not yeah. let yes. the system mm. take that away take that away which is why i'm happy when no, people he, do advocacy like this you know he's, he's, you know, he's shown it leader, and he, he appears to be that, you can just yeah. see that he's mm. a he wants to he wants to continue yeah so it's helpful to keep so i think holding him accountable i think we should also yeah to hold him accountable because i think which is what i'm doing for maki i don't want to give him a green card during the the just during the sidebar before the show how as a tweet of, of the Enugu yes, coronavirus sir. thing mm -hmm. and how the thing went on and then yesterday evening the governor just showed how important mm -hmm. it is to hold people accountable. Mm -hmm. People blasted the governor in Enugu, Governor Guru Guru as we call yes, it. Sir. And in less than three hours the state had an emergency council meeting and they, they approved 320 million naira, approved a new isolation center yes. and 
you know, <laughs> set up a tax force. Because right. the same center they already have. Yes. So, so, in the media. So, so, so criticism is very important. Even the Actors Guild I mentioned, I by the way, should, they have said they we, will have a meeting we, on Monday. We as public, and especially so, people so who have media that. voices, should not let up yeah. and say, oh, right. well, because they're saying uh, they're no, against no, us. I, when people say to me, oh, you criticize, well, is your friend? I said, so? <laughs> no, it's because you're his friend that you should criticize. Exactly. Him. So I just want to repeat again that the Actors Guild, they're holding a meeting on Monday to address properly. Position. Yeah, no, it is, mm. because I, I watched it firsthand, and I saw the arrogance with which he spoke, and mm. I said, you don't talk like that when you're representing people. Mm. You don't talk as if you have absolute rights to speak for them. You need to listen. So I'm glad they're revisiting the issue on Monday, you, you see, and I'm glad these you, women spoke up. You see, the, the, the issue is like, America had laid, you know, taking us down memory lane in narrative of how we go here, you know, and then um, also our cultural perception of the king can do no wrong. Yeah. The king is up there, Imagine. the rest of us are on, underneath. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we forget that the moment we embrace this um, democracy, it's supposed to be a servant leadership kind mm -hmm. of thing, but they still assume the gap of king, authority. kingship, yeah. emperors. And, and so as a, as a governor, you are an emperor, and then your megads also begins to behave like, Flex. oh, we work yeah. for, the yeah. for the emperor. And so you should see us as, and then that's why it's become very difficult to even assess them. And that's why a former governor in your state will tell you, we are talking to a constituted authority, you know? So, that, and that's why you have this, do you know who I am mm. mentality? Mm. Do you know who you are talking to? You know, but if we understand what leadership is all about, that, look, as a leader, you're, you're supposed to be, to serve the people. The, all of these, um, you, I see some people, okay, like, some, also this mentality of sitting at the back of the car, the driver is driving, you know, to know who is the owner. Yeah, all of these are, side by side with the yeah, Exactly, driver. even if you sit side <laughs> yeah, by side, still that, 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 that one has, some, that one that's the new elite, elite. No, no, because no. now the See, new me, elite yeah, show the, you the young boys that, I can oh, sit we side are by no side. Elites that we even sit side by side. We're man enough to sit side by side. I'm just telling you. That's what I'm saying. Don't take dressing too far because it's in the mind. Even what you wear because it's in the mind. No, that's what I'm saying. Some of these are very important. Some of these are. It helps you. No, I agree. You know. You relate with the people. You know, a, a driver that sits with you side by side, no matter how you. elitist you yeah. try to be, yeah. sometimes you also want to relate to with him. Yes. You know, to just exactly. exactly. I sit at the back and yeah. I still relate Ladies, very well. No, because yeah, you're, you're, a you're, a you're a lady. Yeah, but what I wanted to point out. And there's out, the Madame Sito at the back. You have to be. Yeah, I sit on the Madame Sito. diagonal. Yeah, yeah, you can't. Because someone said to me when I had my, my nanny with me, I didn't even know the Madame Sito. And she hopped in and she sat in the Madame Sito. And I sat. And they're like, dude, let's have the Madame Sito. I'm like, what is happening? No, because it's, I, it's important. It's important. But I think the the thing that really uh, we need to look at is the way as soon as our um, public officials or whatever we want to call them are elected, they now move into Asokuru or wherever. There's a way they just completely move out of our um, distance. Yeah, 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 exactly. And from that moment on, Chica. they are untouchable. Yeah. Well, you don't talk about Chika. Huh. Hmm. Those who don't humble themselves may well be asking to be humbled, Abi. I'll stay with that theme after the break.